For those who may not know me, I go by Sasha Dunn. I consider myself a diverse artist in many different fields. I'm a photojournalist. Also, I'm a hip-hop artist. Also, I'm a businessman. I work in many different fields. And what God has blessed me with is opportunities to meet some of the most influential people of my times, both in my country of the Bahamas and around the world. And through these experiences, I've come to realize that everyone has a story. And most of us who don't get these opportunities would just like to somehow see these stories and understand some of these people better. And that is why I do this show now called The Dunn Report because we all have a story. For those who may not know me, I go by Sasha Dunn. Today I'm sitting down with Adrian Fox. The only question I'm going to ask is this Who is Adrian Fox? Um. Great question because if you don't know yourself, then you don't know who you are, who you're supposed to be. Adrian Fox is a, a man that came up from the ghetto in a poor community, someone who has elevated his life through um, learning what it is to get better every day. You know, I always try every day, I wake up, I pray to God, God to help me, to give me wisdom, to be a better person every day. To strive for better things every day, you know. Um, it's one side of Adrian Fox. Adrian Fox is also a family man. I have six amazing kids, beautiful kids. I speak my I speak to my mother and my sisters every day. I try to keep the family born. Try to educate my kids. Try to make them better. Try to let them see. Try to grow them up for the the tough things out there in life that they have the challenge the challenges out there that they have to face. I also got to make sure that they understand how to be given, how to also be protective of themselves, and to get the education in life that they need to make them better and inspire them. Also, Adrian Fox is a man that's really new, this Bahamas. You know, I've been around for a long time. You know, I've, I've grown up in Boal Sally, living in Lion Road in Camp Road area. You know, I've... Um, been in the hotel business for 25 years. I started working when, since I was 11 years old at the um, food store, at the Sydney Market Food Store, Harbour Bay. And I went on to work to um, the, Ritz, the, the Ritz Captain Nemo's at the age of 13. At the age of 15, I went to the Cafe Martini, the World Cafe Martini where the James Bond movie was shot. Um, worked there for a long time with some amazing people and then went on Working, working five twins. It's getting then after that I start to get into business where I worked at um I bought cell phone cards. I had the bar, Foxy Bar. Um, then I came with an idea to to um, start a number house, came in house. Um, that's when I met Sebastian Bastian and I told him uh, my vision. He buy onto it, and we started Alan Luck. And then from Alan Luck on. We went on to do a few other businesses, whereas we've been in, we went into um, some real estate, developing condos, Venetian Vest, Venito, Vizcaya. Um, I, I'm a man. I'm a man not of much education or schooling, I should say. I have a lot of education, but I have much schooling. But I learned I learned my 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 knowledge through going through the hardship of failing. School and every time knocks. I fail, yeah, the school of hard knocks, basically, yeah, you know, yes. <laughs> so I, um, I kind of, I kind of like grew up very trying to learn what's going on and how I could pick up to be better. So I, 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 I went through, um, um, business and, and failing. And I, and my, my, my mother always told me, you could try, you could try 99 thing and fail it, but you tried one more. You, once that's success, you're a success. So basically, my success story is I done it all, and I'm very proud of myself, the way I am now, and I'm not stopping here. The future, the, the future is out there, and I want it. I want to get better every day, and I want to help whoever I could teach and help educate. 
I will. I last question. Suppose if you as a child and go to Balzai, that's just you. Because uh, because your family self was like. Well, like I said, growing up in me, growing, growing up, growing up for me as a child it was uh, very difficult. It was very confusing because um, grew up with a single mom who we live we live with our, our granddaddy, um, and there was um, twenty nine of us living in a four bedroom house in Bal Sali. Um, it was it was it was um, kind of hectic because I slept on the floor. I slept on the floor for about eight years. That's why it's walk. That's why it's walked. But it's walked because I sleep on the floor for eight years because there wasn't no bed available. Yeah. I also, um, you know, um, I went through some times where my mother was um, not treated very good by by her brothers, and I saw this growing up. I, 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 and it hurt my heart. I didn't like it, it you know. But one of the things, um, it wasn't all bad because you know, sometime in life. You know, you grow up in the streets, and and the streets kind of teach you street knowledge, so it make you a little smarter to understand how life really is. You know, and we also had some good times. You know, family dinner. My granddaddy was very um principal on 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 Sunday dinners and family things where we come, we go in the back of the yard and we would pour some crabs and mangoes and pineapple and eat them, and everyone was was there. Yeah, he was from Moors Island. Very good man. Take care of all his family until he died. You know, very great guy, Mr. Rupert Stewart. Very good. Very good man. Uh, family man, very orientated. Family orientated, you know. Um, but growing up the Boys Sally taught me a lot. I grew up real. I saw four people killing me. Killing in front of me, actually. And, and, and people like Barry McCoy and, and, and lived there. Lived, lived, lived through there, Barry. You know, he, Barry was like a regular place you see every day. You know, Bal Sali was not in the 1970s, going in the 1980s. It was kind of like, that's when drugs was coming around. You know, everyone started to do crack cocaine. Most of Bahamas was like doing crack cocaine. Take, it took on a lot of good people. And, you know, I saw these events that I saw, seen as a child. It kind of like stick with me and I'd be like, hey, I don't want this for my kids growing up. You know, so I, it built a lot of passion to try to get all over the years. Yes, the struggle. It, it was a struggle. You know, like I said, I I'm a man when the school when went to work from at the age of eleven. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was working at City Market at the age of eleven. At the age of thirteen, I was in cafe and in, in, in the and in Captain Nemo's mm -hmm. at the age of thirteen as a as a bus boy. Yeah. At the age of at the age of at the age of uh, fifteen, I was working at Cafe Matney, doing Cafe Matney. I was I was the youngest waiter over there at Lannis Everhart. I mean the Resorts International at the time at the age of sixteen. Yes, yes. Um yeah, I was I was, I was eighteen years old at the, at the time and, and, and they came there, it was all over the, all over New York, Vegas, all over the place. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was a good a good good photo of me. So I mean like to see a transition like that to go from bus boy Packing boy to, I mean, I I, I, don't, I don't want to use the term, but multi millionaire. Mm -hmm. I mean, how how do you make sense of that to someone on the outside, like for them to see that and, and, and tell them that that transition is realistic and possible? Well, it's all about how you believe in yourself. You know what I mean? If you believe that you could do anything in life, you could do it. I believe that. When God made this earth, He made this earth for everyone. He made everything in this earth, on this earth, belong to you, just as much as it belong to Bill Gates. So if Bill Gates could do it, why can't you do it? So I believe I have that I have that mind taught that that, that taught my mind. I said, hey, this is this is this is what could happen, and this is what 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 I can accomplish. Also, I think that you know, um, you have the vision vision where you want yourself to be. You have to see a vision in yourself. You see yourself being uh, a, a, a guy, an average guy, making twenty thousand dollars a year. Then that's what you're gonna be. If you see your, if you see yourself making twenty million dollars a year, then that's where you're gonna be. So you set goals. As I've set goals in my life, and I've pushed myself to make these happen, make these things happen to me. That's why I, I am in this position I am today. Like I said, I, I did a post the other day. I said I thirty nine years 
of waking to make myself be who I am, and now people try and tell me what to, how to live. Just a, a, a bigger question, then I can start. With making a transition from, I guess, what people call the mud to the sky, the clouds, do you feel yourself as a, was it a prisoner of your own success in the sense that people say that, oh, you're doing too much, when you do something with the money that you accomplish through your efforts and endeavors? Well, you know, there's always going to be people who have a small mind, small minded people, we call them, right? And they, they like to, they like to put their life on your life. You know, um, you can't watch people. You know what I mean? You can't watch, you can't watch another man. Let them, let them run. Let them do what they got to do. Um, as far as success is, we have a lot of successful people in this world. A lot. Some of them give back, some don't. But we cannot tell them what to do with, their, with, 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 with their success. Me, on the, other hand, on the other hand, I give back all the time and I try to help out all the time. I pay people light bill, car bill, mortgages, whatever I could do. I have a big foundation, a Fox Foundation. I help, it helps out uh, uh, all through the year and the, uh, a big party from my community where I come from. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I have never changed. I'm still the same Foxy, you know what I mean? I'm still the same guy who I, who I was 30 years ago. And I don't think that... Money make a man. I think a man make money. Mm. And so money shouldn't change you. Yeah. So, in looking at that, the, beyond the criticism, to go back to the individual who's looking at you and saying they would endeavor to be that, how would you tell that person or inspire them to, to, to keep focus when even they fail failing after failure after failure after they try, unless they fail? What kept you going? Like, like, like how, how did your mind at being a busboy in the club and the coffee out in me? did you envision yourself where you is right now? Well, like I said, I, all, I, I envisioned myself even greater, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, uh, it, it don't stop here, you know what I mean? I always keep trying, I always keep pushing. Every day I want to be better. Mm -hmm. And when I was young, I always say, if I have $10 on my bank book, the next year I want to have 20 So I always strive to be better every day. And for anyone who, who, who envision their self that they want to be better, they got to put the work in. You know what I mean? They ain't going to drop out of the sky. They ain't going to drop out of your lap. You know what I mean? You got to go there and you have to think about what you want to do. Set your goals, set your stand, and work at it. You have to work hard to get where you need to be. And, you know, um, like I said, um, back in the day, um, failure, failure only make you better. You know what I mean? I've tried numerous businesses. You know, I was a, I had a barber shop, a beauty salon. I sell, I sell newspaper. I sell Kanep. I, uh, I had a Kong salad stand. I had jitneys. I had phone cards. I tried, I tried a lot of them. I failed at a lot of them. But every time I fail at them, fail at this one particular thing, I, I learned better. I learned from that. I learned not to do that again because that, that was a mistake. So when you try businesses and you fail at them, it only make you better. So don't be don't be scared of failure. You have to and you have to embrace failure, but learn from failure so that it makes you better in the next business you want to get into. And what and and and, and that teach you. You could try you could try you could try a hundred businesses and fail at ninety nine, and that one you, you one you're still success because that one made you. My question is this. Because the Bahamas isn't a stunned country, and it says that like it's a big melting pot. It is a melting pot, but then our country for the longest time, for almost 45 years, was under a minority rule, and then we had a majority rule. And you saw somewhat of this transition, yeah. and for you to go through this as a black man, did you feel like it, it, it was a barrier, or did you, how did you overcome that? Yes. Well, you know, um, to be honest, you the white Bahamians do have a head start on us because you know they, at least some of the white Bahamians were privileged up to to have the knowledge to come here and understand how the world works better than we did back in the days, talking a long time ago, and um, so basically, it's you know they had a they had a head start on getting the best land and getting the best uh, um, businesses and the best start, yeah. you know. So most of us are catching up. Only the few. Chosen blacks, like Samara Butler and, 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 and some, other, some other ones, had the opportunity and to, to, to really um, um, rise up with them 
and and you know um, different things like that. But you know, like I said, uh, today today I see, you know, people look at uh, and and they say the white people have a have a hairstyle on us. Today I don't see that. You know, I have a lot of white friends, and they go through the same struggles we go through as well, and they 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 go through the same hard hard times we we go through. You know, what I think that is is the the, the people who were successful in the start want to hold on to they want to hold on to that um power, and they don't they don't want to allow they 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 want to allow they want to they want to allow uh us to everybody to get a piece of the pie, so they like c- try to control it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so when you see a black man starting to get wealth or trying to, even if you get wealth in the Bahamas, everyone say, hey, don't show it. Don't buy nothing. Don't buy a nice car. Don't buy a nice house. They can hate you. I, I try and understand, well, if you have your wealth, if you, if, you, if, you, if you made money, why can't you spend it? You know what I mean? You make money to spend or make, make money to look at it. I, 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 I mean... That don't make any sense to me. Um, you know, um, um, and people, the blacks kind of, the blacks in this, this country got to realize that now we all are, we all are equal. Anything you could have, anything you could do, anything the next man could do, you could do. All right. Um, um, I don't say, I don't sit down and believe that I can't do what this other, fa- what this other fella could do. I could do the same thing he could do because. He he breathe the same air. He bleed he breathe he bleed the same blood. He just as equal as me. The only thing changes is the way our thinking is. I want to be able to uplift our thinking, and 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 go for it and get smart and get education and and know how to do things. It's done. So in essence, there was a barrier, but then the bare part of your mind didn't see the barrier. It wasn't a barrier for you. Of course, because I grew up. I grew up in a hotel. Yeah. I grew up with. I grew up with um I, I, I was on it I was I was one time I was one time thinking that hey these white people are bad because when you grow up that's what you taught. But I have had more white people taught me and teach me good things and show me the way than I've had black people did. I mean that's true. Yeah. But at the end of the day is we are we are we are we 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 are sh- we, we come in we come into the come into this game a little bit unfair because the way it was set up from back in the days. But now, I mean, the opportunity is there and it's open. And so we need to take it and run with it. Mm-hmm. You know? So I mean, I guess you are living proof of that because to say it's a two-bedroom apartment or it's a four-bedroom? A four-bedroom home with 29, 29 people living in. Yeah. And to uh, be at this level and to be doing further than this, I guess that's, that's proof in itself. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like I say, uh, can't stop, <laughs> won't stop. Now, my question you know? is, my, uh, 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 my other question is, when you see the Bahamas in 2018, when you see the Bahamas, let's say, at 2050? Uh, in 2050, I think that um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. I mean, I hope I'm still around, you know, yeah. but because I turned in 50 uh, uh, January 12th, mm-hmm. but you know, uh, that's a lot. That's a that's that's asking God for a lot. But if God permit me to live, see, I see the Bahamas as being one of the greatest uh, destination of tourism in the world because um, the way uh, the, the the way the world is going, and we seeing that you know uh, uh, the Bahamian people are an amazing people. Their, their attitude towards tourism. It's great, you know, and the way they treat people when they come to this country, the hospital, the hospital, the hospitality, I can't pronounce this word, <laughs> the hospitality that they give the tourists here is amazing. And I see that, uh, you know, we send our kids off to college, they coming back with great degrees and being entrepreneurs and doctors and lawyers and, and, and you know, we're going to change this country, you know, because, you know, we're going to get away from the old God. And it's going to be a new guard in place. But a new guard in place is going to be more modernized uh-huh. and more intelligent to life, to the way the world is going. And so I see the Bahamas as being one of the greatest countries to live in in the next 20 years and ever. And being a person that, 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 that benefited so much from technology, uh, how do you see technology impacting the Bahamas 20 minutes in, in the same time frame also? Well, I see 
that technology it really is going to be the new way of life you know what i mean I, I, if you if you was to go on youtube and you look at all of these different things they get coming mm-hmm. they blow your mind you know because you know you got to you got to get ready for it you know don't be in the back of it you got to be in the front of it you know uh, um even going to school back in the days going even school schooling you have to really reconsider going what you going to school for yeah. Because back in the days, the things they used to teach you with the Wood Rogers and 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 Macbeth and all these other things really don't make no sense no more, mm-hmm. because it don't apply, apply to life. Mm-hmm. It it don't apply to life anymore. You know the things that apply to life is coding. You know, uh, um, making apps, doing um um, and the world is the world. If the world already then here, we ain't going backwards. We only going forward. Mm-hmm. You know, we can have robots around. We can have flying cars. Yeah. These things can happen. You have Amazon dropping your 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 shipment by 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 drones. Mm. These things are happen. You, you you can't stop it anymore. If we reach this far, and in, in this time, in the next fifty years, buddy, it's gonna be amazing. I believe it's gonna be amazing, and technology will take you there. Uh, I know you're speaking a little far into the future, but just to bring it back to the common man right now in Nassau, right now, two thousand eighteen, what would be your advice to him with him on the deal with VAT? BPL and all these different things. You as who you are right now, mm-hmm. and if you were living, let's say if you was that common man right now in that position, what would you be doing right now? Well, I'd say you know, you are who you want. Who you are who you want to be. You know what I mean? If you wanna, if you wanna sit down in the bar and play backgammon or, or play dominoes and don't try and put education in your in your head. Then that's what you 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 reap with your soul. Mm-hmm. All right. So basically, it's the human men gotta realize there's more to life than just hanging out and talking with old times. I can't live in the old times. I can live in now. My children gotta eat. <laughs> now, if you can sit there, if you want to sit down and, and 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 don't try and help and try and educate yourself and get yourself knowledge, give yourself knowledge that you can make yourself more money. And you want to go go on a job where you where you making two three hundred dollars a week, and you know you can't support your, your children with that, or your family with that, or even yourself with that. Then, and you at fault, you know what I mean. You gotta you gotta be the one who can inspire your own self, you know what I mean. And that's how I feel about that. Yes, because you know that you can you can raise yourself up, and your advice is just raise yourself up. Yes. Why well, sit down and wait? Make it happen. Yeah. Don't wait for no savior. It's no, I, I mean, God will be there for you and God will help you. But if God don't see you helping yourself, then he ain't help you. Yeah, you know? So now, um, speaking of helping now, we can go to this, this thing that you started. This, uh, what I found as, as amazing, the Fox Foundation. How long, how long has that been, that been in existence? Well, Fox Foundation is, uh, uh, has been around for the last six years. It's something that, um, because I'm from the Camp Road area where I am, um, and uh, uh, most of my friends, family is from, you know, I grew up there. My church is there. My mother still lived there. She wouldn't move. I tell her, move. But she say, no, are you trying to kill me? You want me to move? No. That's why I bought. That's why she say, that's why she bought. That's why she could die. So I, I, I say, anyway, that's that's what you want. That's what you want. And I go there all the time. I see the um the kids, you know. I, had a, um, I have a Fox Foundation that we, you know, we we, we, we been having this, um, giveaway we call it the fox fox foundation giveaway on christmas because you know when i was a kid you know i used to get my used to open up my christmas present in march because <laughs> and sometimes i don't ever used to get a christmas present yeah. so i know the feeling that they had you know i i i i i, I know i remember I, I had one skates i had one skates what i wanted i i get them in march because my mother couldn't afford it she's a single single parent mm-hmm. back then i couldn't understand it but i understand it today because you know it's, it's hard on the mothers, it's hard on the mothers in the Bahamas. You know, they they try their best to try and give us what we want. Mm-hmm. You know, but certain uh, time now, I rather she was right. You know, don't understand because she rather put food on the table and boy would get me escaped. Yeah. And um, so the foundation. Go back to the foundation. The foundation is uh something that we we we, we look at these kids and we say, hey, they ne- I never had it, so maybe. We can make put a smile on their, their face. You know, every time we go there, we give them bikes and and, and 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 toys and computers and all sorts of different things. 
and we also try to help the adults as well. You know, TVs and microwaves and we try to buy things that they need in the home. Uh, also, you know, we, we also have, um, we also uh, we adopted a Raya Makfi school where we send we send twenty kids. We put them in private school, and 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 we and we monitor them. We carry out, we carry out their, we, we we pay the payments for them, the school the school fees for them, until until they finish. Now, if someone is failing, then we'll scratch that person and get someone else on. But we are we are dedicated to helping them all through their uh, high school process, and then we can start looking at their college. You know, because education is key. You know, once we start to educate, when we start to educate the, the country, the country move in a more positive direction. See, I realize, because uh, so, uh, I mean, right there you see the evolution of the Fox Foundation because it started with just a giveaway. Now, rather than just giving them out of fish, you start to teach them how to fish. Of course, yes. You know what I'm saying? So, now, my question would be is this. What is your ultimate vision for the Fox Foundation? Just how I ask you a 2050 question. Where do you see the Fox Foundation in 2050? Well, um, we can start, you know, and, and the Fox Foundation will, will have to grow. Uh, as far as um, my daughter, Adriana, and my other daughters are concerned, I tell them that, you know, um, my, my vision in the, in, in, in the Fox Foundation is really for them. I want them to be a, be a part of it tremendously so that they could, they could help inspire and help, and help grow. You know, uh, help to grow people as well, so that they could um, um, take it on. When I'm gone, on to my other life, I hope it's heaven. Mm-hmm. You know, to, to help to help build it, and so they could carry on my vision and my dream. Mm-hmm. Also, um, what I wanted to do um, uh, for my for the Camp Road community is I want to do a study hall and library, computer lab, and also a feeding station. So. In the next year, I'm going to be looking for the property to build this building. And in this building, because, you know, a lot of kids, we might realize it, they don't have computers. Not only even have computers, they don't even have light at home to turn on a computer. But so how do, how do they do their homework in the dark or whatever the case may be? So what I want to do is I want to, I want to, I want to build this community center for them that they could come there and they could have, have teachers helping them with their homework computer to allow them to use it use it just yeah, help them a little bit so they could get a get a little head in life you know yeah, I know yeah you see what the are. correct I don't want to name it after my mother because she's been a good help in the community you know mm-hmm. yeah what's your name uh Heisen Grant a really good really 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 good woman she she's been there for me to take and ten you know call me every call me every morning get my mm-hmm. Sunday dinner on time very, very good person. So, I mean, through, through, through this whole scheme of life and journey of life you've been going through, what would you say is the, the one attribute that uh, is inside you that, say, made Fox, Fox? Well, you know, um, everybody always tell me, say, Fox, you have a heart, you have a, you have a big heart, you're a heart of gold, you know what I mean? Um, I've, I've learned a long time ago, you know, life is like, life is like a hand. If a hand is ball, you can't give nor receive. But if a hand is open, you can give and receive. A lot of people don't understand the whole concept of life. You know, they understand everybody want to just keep and be grabalicious and put it in theirs and run away. You know what I mean? From me growing up all the time, I always share. I always believe in sharing. I always believe that, hey, if I give, you know, God can look out for me. You know, and I always believe that sharing is, sharing is something that, you know, it's natural. It's a natural feeling. Yeah. You know, you just can't, someone should not be so grabalicious and so self-centered that everything they, 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 they have, they just got to keep to themselves. You know what I mean? I mean, we have, a lot of, we have a lot of institutions in the Bahamas right now making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But I mean, what they do, they, 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 print, they print up, oh, I just give away $5,000. Like, that's a big thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, really? You're making 150 160 million dollars you're talking to your five, five. I, I don't see them doing big things that, 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 um, you know, me or Sabas be doing. You know, I mean, Sabas, let's so, so talk about Sabas Bastian. When I met him, he's, you know, we, we didn't like one another when we first met Sabas. We, 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 because we was at little, little bucking heads, but we became friends. 
And so, you know, I, I have a, I am I am I admire that he what he's done with his life and he has become a great person. And you know, he's starting to see life for what it really is. And a lot of people see it and a lot of people say, Well, it's a boss really changed, you know. But he's a great he's a great guy, very smart, intelligent guy, and I think that he could take this Bahamas to the next level as well. And he is he is a very committed behemoth. You know, and I admire that about him. So I say in I say in um well how do we make the Bahamas better or where do we take the Bahamas? It could be in us, everyone. It is an, it's a, it gotta be every one of us gotta put our best foot forward and try and help one another to reach that to reach that goal mark. You can't just believe that it's all about you. I never live like that. I always live with sharing. Right? This whole team of reasons you what come? I mean, I don't need to end at fifty, but I, I get I get another fifty years to live. I gotta help. I have I, I have an obligation to help this help this country. You know, if I whatever I could do, I'm gonna be a part of a building building the Bahamas be a better place. You know. Well, I open in the last thing because I want to say some more later on. <laughs> the most important thing, what I believe you need to know is you need to start setting, start setting some serious goals for yourself. All right? And believe in yourself and get educated to reach those goals. So that means it's, education is a tool to reach your goals. You got to try and get your education and reach your goal. But you also got to believe in yourself that you can make anything happen. You know what I mean? If I didn't believe that I could make it happen, I would have, I would have still been a busboy or waiting in a restaurant. You know, I, I believe that um, you can do whatever you want to do. And I always have to, I always tell people this story, you know, if you be around... If you be around four four broke person, you can be the fifth broke person. But if you be around four billionaire, you can be the next billionaire. Yeah. Choose your company wisely. You know, if you can't, if if you're the smartest person in the room, that you need to find another room. Yeah. All right. So basically, it's put people positive, strong people around you that you can learn from, and set your goals, get educated, and go for it, and believe in yourself. Because I always tell people, the world is yours. Take it. Do you agree? I, I totally agree with you, brother. And this has been an amazing movie. This is that talk to me. There's more questions that I would like to ask you. But oh, it, this, this has been an amazing movie, brother. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. All right. All right.